Hello friends, this video on human reproduction part 15 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now, the follicular phase is also over. So by now we know what happens. First phase is menstruation where the endometrium breaks and bleeding happens. Now the endometrium is broken. So now it has to be repaired again. It has to be reformed. So how that reformation will happen? It will happen along with ovulation. So when the hormones LH and FSH get secreted inside the ovary, egg formation takes place and ovulation happens. At the same time, when these hormones get secreted, the endometrium also starts building up. So the formation of or regeneration of endometrium also starts taking place. Now, third phase is the luteal phase. Now, ovulation has taken place. What after ovulation? What will happen to the remains of the graphene follicle? Because the egg went out but the cells of the graphene follicle some of them are still there so what will happen to the remains of the graphene follicle so this phase starts after ovulation now after ovulation has happened then the remains of the graphene follicle forms another structure called corpus luteum so this due to the name luteum it has got the name luteal phase because this is the phase where corpus luteum is formed now what does this corpus luteum do? So this structure is the corpus luteum. So what will this do? This corpus luteum will secrete another female hormone that is progesterone. So corpus luteum is going to secrete progesterone and progesterone is going to maintain the lining of the endometrium. As I said, the endometrium will start building up its thickness but something has to be there which should be able to maintain that lining of the endometrium because we do not want the lining to break down. Because we, the, we want the endometrium to wait for the fetus. Because in case there is fertilization, the endometrium should be prepared. So who will take care of that? That is taken care by this progesterone hormone. So it will regulate or it will maintain the lining of the endometrium. So the lining of the endometrium is taken care by the progesterone. And progesterone is released by corpus luteum. So the endometrium is maintained, so the endometrium keeps on growing in thickness. So a very thick endometrium will be there and then it will wait. So this is the basically this luteal phase. As long as this luteal phase is going on, it is nothing but the wait period of the uterus because ovulation has already happened. Now the uterus endometrium has also grown in thickness. Progesterone will keep on maintaining the thickness of the endometrium lining. If uterus will keep on waiting. If no zygote is received, endometrium will break down, right? So, and here, so now the question is, so that part is clear that how the menstruation and the follicular growth and luteal phase are linked together. The question is, what is the future of corpus luteum? So, what is going to happen to this corpus luteum? So, this structure also has to have something later. So, it, it releases progesterone, that is one thing. But what will happen to this structure? So this corpus luteum will, now if you talk about the future of corpus luteum, there are two possibilities. So one possibility is that, the first possibility is that when fertilization happens, so the two things are possible, one is fertilization happened. So what will happen if fertilization happens? That means a zygote will be formed and that zygote will go to the uterus and it will get implanted into the uterus for next nine months. So in that case, the corpus luteum will remain alive and it will keep on producing progesterone because the progesterone is required to maintain the lining of the endometrium. So progesterone will be continuously I mean, I mean, secreted and this progesterone will continuously maintain the lining of the endometrium for those nine months so that would be the future of corpus luteum if fertilization happens the second scenario is if fertilization does not happen so if there is no fertilization in that case what will happen if there is no fertilization the endometrium will break so it will rupture and menstruation will take place. So in that case, you really do not need progesterone to maintain the lining of the endometrium. So in that case, what will happen? So in that case, the corpus luteum will degenerate. So the corpus luteum will degenerate as you can see in this picture. So that is the next scenario. Now, 
as I said, fertilization does not happen every time. I mean, for that, the frequency has to match because the egg which is being produced, it is going to be alive only for 24 hours. So it is a matter of chance that within those 24 hours, there has to be a sperm which is present exactly in this fallopian tube and is able to fertilize the ovum. So only if that happens, in that case, fertilization will happen. Otherwise, the corpus luteum will degenerate and again the entire process will start. That is, corpus luteum will degenerate, menstruation will happen. Once menstruation is over, again the secretion of LH and FSH hormone will take place. As a result, follicular growth will start. Follicular growth will lead to ovulation. Now, once ovulation will take place, again corpus luteum will be formed. So, the process will keep on continuing. So, I hope you understood the gist of the menstrual cycle. You should be able to connect the different phases of the menstrual cycle because this is very, very important. If you do not understand the entire cycle, you will not be able to understand the exact process of sexual reproduction. And this is very, very important. So if you have not understood, please rewind and see it again. Okay. So now that we have discussed the entire menstrual cycle, let us have a quick look at the whole menstrual cycle graphically. I am repeating once again, when I use the term menstrual cycle, I mean the entire cycle. I am not talking about only the first stage of menstruation. So the entire menstrual cycle will look somewhat like this. The first stage where what happens menstruation happens right so during menstruation we do not need high levels of uh, lh or fsh right so menstruation will happen initially after that the levels the secretion of fsh and lh will start so here you can see their levels right so as the secretion of lh and fsh starts what happens follicular growth start taking place so this represents follicular growth so here you see primary to secondary to tertiary, finally it forms the graphene follicle and finally here you can see ovulation taking place. Now just have, make, have a look at this. The moment when ovulation happens, that is the time when the level of LH is at maximum. So when the luteinizing hormone is at its peak, that is the time when the graphene follicle ruptures. So the graphene follicle ruptures, so the egg is released after that, it forms corpus luteum. So again, the levels of uh, the FSH and LH will decrease, but something else changes. As soon as corpus luteum is formed, you see the level of progesterone increases because corpus luteum secretes progesterone and this progesterone is important for maintaining the lining of endometrium. But before the formation of corpus luteum, progesterone was low. There was no progesterone being secreted. And again, if there is no fertilization, the corpus luteum will degenerate and therefore the progesterone level will also decrease. Now, if you talk about the estrogen level, this also you see, it increases with the increase. I mean, the estrogen level is kind of dependent on these hormones as well. So as these hormone level increases, the estrogen level also increases. But after that, it comes down and then again, it increases later when the degeneration takes place. So this is how the various hormones, the levels of the various hormones changes during the menstrual cycle and the levels of these hormones actually govern the entire process of menstrual cycle. And this menstrual cycle actually decides when fertilization can take place and that is why you would have uh, uh, I mean maybe you would have not come across but it is uh, what happens is that many uh, couples who plan for a baby so how do they plan for when they want to have a baby they plan to have their sexual intercourse immediately after the time of ovulation so whenever the female ovulates because these days there are quite a number of tools or kits which actually tell when the female will ovulate so the sexual intercourse has to be followed immediately after ovulation so that the chances of fertilization is more however it is the fertilized whether the egg will get fertilized or not, that is always a matter of chance. So this is all about the menstrual cycle. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.